This is how you edit radial gradient colors in Adobe Illustrator. So once we have a gradient on our board, we're gonna select from our tools panel any shape. We're gonna go to our gradient panel, which is on the right. If that panel is not there, if you cannot see that panel, you're gonna go to your window and in that menu option, you're gonna go down to gradient, select it, and it's gonna pop up on the right hand side in that panel. And that's how you'll know you're in the right area. Now, once you've selected your artwork, whatever shape you've decided on, you then click in the type menu that's under your gradient panel and you select either linear or radial. But right now we're working with radial. So we're gonna click that and you'll notice that the radial gradient is on the inside. And you can adjust the coloring of this simply by double clicking on one of the swatch colors. Now when you double click, it's gonna bring up a little window and by default, it, it gives you the grayscale version of black. And if you want to change that color mode, you click on the drop down arrow that's in the upper right and you can change it to RGB, HSB, CMYK, or WebSafe RGB. So we're gonna choose CMYK, just so we can alter these sliders. And as you change it, you'll notice the color in your gradient panel will actually change for the swatch that you selected. And then it'll adjust your gradient accordingly, which will then show up in your shape. So let's do this for the other color change that mode, let's change it to magenta. And now we have a cyan to magenta. And we can click the gradient slider that's above the swatches. And that will actually shift between them. Now you're not stuck with just two colors. When you click underneath the slider, you'll notice that your cursor turns from the arrowhead, the general arrowhead, to one with a plus symbol. When you click, it'll automatically add a point where you've clicked that's the color of that transitional point in your gradient. And you can then slide that just like you did other points. And you can double click it, change the color. Or if it's selected, you can just go to your color picker up top, change the color there. You can slide in between. For each swatch you have, there will be one gradient slider in between there to govern the distance between those two colors. And you can do this indefinitely. You can actually, if you want to copy an exact color, you can hold down your alter option key and drag that over and it will copy that same exact color. And that's how you edit colors and radial gradients in Adobe Illustrator.